Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday, which is actually like a Saturday here in uh, in Abu Dhabi. Um, I guess it's the 5th of March. One of the really cool things about Fridays here is when they do the call to prayer, which is um, at noontime. And... Uh, I don't know, I, I really dig it in the sense that uh, the whole community gets together and, and uh, does their thing. Uh, as most of you know, I'm not super religious or anything, but I got loads of respect for religion and and I, I see the benefits of uh, different religions and different societies. But uh, man, they take that shit seriously here, especially on this Friday. On Fridays in general. Um, so that's new, you know, obviously that, that shit doesn't happen in um, Switzerland. So it's kind of interesting and I kind of dig it. So I don't know, just sharing that. I'm going to shut up now about about that crap. Anyway, um, we all got paid yesterday. Uh, as you as you all can well imagine, long dollars are short, short a couple of spoos. Uh, the beer... Um, the beer account's been topped up, so that was nice. Got all the way down to 37.21. We actually bought 33s, uh, and then we sold uh, 60s towards there at the end of the day. We're going to try and do sort of the same, right? We're going to try and sell between 60 and 80, and we're going to try and buy between 30 and 10 today. I don't think we're going to get a massive... We're not going to get any kind of massive uh, waterfall day, I don't think. Uh, we're still core short. The position is lighter. Still core long dollars are. Again, position's lighter, but um, we're thinking about a range day today. We've had three down days in a row. Probably make a new low at some point. It'll look very offered and then bounce. Uh, this is kind of what we're expecting today. Let's pop into crypto here. Um, it's, I haven't run the exact correlations, but you know, crypto down, stocks down. You want to try and pick up some Ethereum here. Um, I don't know, twelve fifty. Uh, pick up some Ethereum. We were talking about Stellar the other day in Lumens. This is the Stellar token XLM, trading at forty cents. Um, we own a couple of these. Uh, and uh, anyway, we're just going to watch this a little bit. You can see uh, it really got moving uh, in November. And up to 60 cents is the high from 10 cents, so 600% higher. But like a lot of the crypto. Um, but we find this uh, lumens here, we think uh, this is going to gain a bit of traction. Watch the news flow, uh, especially if this if this uh, crypto starts coming into the news a little bit more, then you can feel a little bit more secure buying it. But just sharing on the Lumen side. As far as currencies are concerned, it's pretty dull, right? I mean, um, Euro did... I guess it's less dull than than uh, I was concentrating on dollars are and, and spoos yesterday. Euro did drop 100 points. Here we are in 1950. Very interesting point. Um, we like to pick some euros up down here. We talked about it before. Today maybe we'll try and buy some 11910, um, which will kind of uh, dove, dovetail with this high here from the November 23rd high. We should be support. Uh, between 119.50 and 119 to figure. We're in no rush to buy euros because uh, we're risk off. Um, but surely, yeah, I, I mean, this is a pretty classic setup, right? European Open, which I guess is in one hour's time. Uh, they're going to smash this through 50. Uh, so keep your eye on that. Dollar Swiss, we talked about 92.10 uh, yesterday. We didn't trade it, but worked out pretty well right boom 9205 never really saw that again um, 85 points higher 
It's getting a little bit stretched here, um, just time-wise. Uh, we did touch this same here, 92.90. This looks like a pretty good sale today, uh, up at 93.40.50. If we if we do a reach up that way, definitely not a break trade here at 93. It's too stretched now. Um, so if you're going to do anything with dollar Swiss, you want to fade this up at 93.40. Just on a tactical trade for the day. This little fucker didn't move to didn't move as much um, dollar cad. We were waiting for this 12750. This is a very important point. We will continue waiting. Maybe we're putting in a right shoulder here. Um, Why well, he got slammed through this trend line finally, uh, which is 7726 today. You can sell Aussie um, on rallies today, somewhere between uh, 20 and 30 dollars are we're long as everybody knows uh, these 38 highs are real important you want to buy on the death knock uh, if you get back down between 10 15 10 and 15 15 it's a nice little number 15 15 finally on the currency side dollar China this is a line we drew yesterday which is not that great it's kind of what you call it just a crappy line it doesn't really mean or describe anything or any kind of pattern we're just waiting here 651 if we go into like a global hemorrhage uh, which could happen I don't think it's gonna happen too much liquidity out there um, if we go into a global hemorrhage 651 is important and how could we go into a global hemorrhage it's bonds obviously if bonds just go like patently insane which, by the way, they're not. This is there's nothing insane about this. The ten years at, at 150. So everyone, uh, untwist your fucking knickers, right? This is <laughs> this is still abnormally low, right? This is the ten year yield. This is what ten year U.S. government bonds yield. 1.57 percent. Blow me, right? Like. I had put some bank deposits in at 3%, I don't know, a couple years ago. So uh, this is not serious yet. The speed of this is worrying some people, but it's not serious. This gets serious if this thing gets above, you know, gets above 3%. I mean, that means it gets serious for everyone. You know, we have this huge debt burden. Um, the whole world has this huge debt problem. If yields get above three, um, then everybody's fucked. But at 1.5, it's a little bit of a spook, but um, come on. Everyone, step back off the ledge. 1.5% um, for 10-year yields. I don't even want to know what boons are yielding. yielding. They're still negative. Um, let's not worry about it. Finally, uh, let's look at crude, because this doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not trading it. I don't position in crude, but... You know, the Saudis said, listen, we're not, we're not um, adding supply, bang, new high, up to 65, now we're 64.38. This chart looks incredibly constructive, um, makes no sense to me. If you want to um, wait till the change in trend, here's your trend line. That's what trend lines are for. They describe a trend. Uh, I don't know, back down through 59, but this looks like it can go higher still. Uh, I don't understand it, but there it is. All right, listen, I've said enough. i um, going to pour myself another cup of coffee and uh, get started with the uh, normal day here. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.